Hello, fit friends, and welcome to my page. Welcome to my gym. Um, I'm following up. I just did a live event with um, Stacy Echeverria of True You Ministries talking about tips for, for preventing holiday weight gain and travel exercises that you can do. But I decided I was also now going to do just kind of an impromptu live video to show you some of those exercises that you can do pretty much anywhere. So if you're traveling this holiday, if you just don't have a lot of equipment at home, um, these are some great things that you can do um, whether you're traveling or at home or wherever pretty much. Um, these are fairly basic, but also really effective if you do them properly and correctly. So all you need for these is a resistance band. So these you can get just about anywhere. Um, this one is from ProSourceFit.com. Show you the logo. That's ProSource right there. So ProSourceFit.com. These are inexpensive. You can get them as a whole stackable set and they're awesome. Um, I really like this company. You can get a discount actually with code HOLLY10 at checkout. Um, and if for some reason you can't do that, you can usually check like a local Ross or Marshalls or Amazon to get some pretty inexpensive sets of these. The best ones that I would recommend are these that have a clip. So what that enables you to do is add more weight on here. So you can add an extra band, three extra bands. So if you need to go really heavy for certain exercises and light for others, makes it really easy to adjust it. Um, rather than the types where the handles are attached to it, because then you can only use one band at a time. So I like being able to stack them and adjust the weight. So you can always be challenging yourself or make things easier if you need them. The other thing I would recommend is one with a door anchor. So well, that's upside down, but so ProSource has these, a lot of companies have these. It has a little um, like metal piece on the end and then a loop right here where you put the band through. So if you have one of these, as long as you have a door, you can do a ton of different exercises. Um, if you go to my YouTube page, um, just search Renewal Fitness Coaching on the YouTube search bar and you'll find my page. I have a few videos there already of resistance band workouts where I put this into a door and it enables you to do all kinds of things, um, glute kickbacks, chest presses, um, a, a quite a variety of back exercises that you're otherwise kind of limited to. So just this tiny little piece makes a huge difference. And then also a recommendation would be to have an ankle strap like this where it can clip in um, because it allows you to do a lot of different leg exercises like leg extensions, hamstring curls, things that normally you can't do without gym equipment or without the ankle cuff. So um, these all come in a set at ProSourceFit.com, so I would highly recommend that. Um, I really like this ankle strap. It's very comfortable. It works well. Um, and I have yet to have one of these bands break on me. Hopefully it won't today while I'm demonstrating. Um, so speaking of breaking, one other tip with resistance bands, just so you know, is before you use them, just check and make sure, like every use, make sure there's not any little like tears in it, any holes, anything like that, because that's when they could potentially snap on you. And just be careful, like use, I don't know, logic when using resistance bands to not be stretching them so hard that they feel like they could break. If it's that hard, then lighten the weight or step a little bit closer because these can snap. So you got to be careful with them. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'll show you some exercises that you can do with these bands. All right. So first one, is one of the best and most basic exercises is a squat. So all you're gonna do is step on your resistance band. Let's see if I can adjust the camera hair. Okay, so you're gonna step on the middle of your resistance band. Just to show you back here, stepping right on the middle. Okay. So you can just make sure the handles are even. And then from there, you're gonna bring the handles up to your shoulders and perform a squat. So you're sitting down as if you're about to sit on a chair and then come right back up. The bands just add a little bit of resistance. And what you can do, like I have this bench behind me, what I really like to have clients do is use a chair or use a bench or something like that. And you're gonna actually sit back onto the bench, just kind of tap your booty 
and then right back up. So you're not coming down and sitting all the way, just a little tap and up. That kind of helps guide you and gives you a little bit better form. It's gonna help you keep the weight in your heels rather than your toes so you're not leaning forward because a lot of people lean forward and that creates knee pain. So you're gonna sit back onto the bench and then up. Then if you wanna make it a little bit harder and add in some upper body, what you can do is have these right here. You're squatting and then when you stand up, press the bands into the air and back down. So every time you stand up from the squat, you're gonna press your arms into the air. All right, so that's a really good full body exercise. Or you can just do the squat, or you can just do the shoulder press right here and just focus on your arms. Okay, so what I would recommend is to do about 20 of those. Depends on the weight of your resistance band. If you have a heavier or lighter band, start with about 20 and then move on to another exercise. Okay, so that's gonna hit your lower body and if you're doing shoulders, it's gonna hit your upper body as well. All right, so then let's move on to back. So now, like I said, if you have a door anchor, you can put this into a door. I'm gonna show, to show you how to use it if you just have a sturdy pole or something like this in your house, maybe around like your staircase, uh, maybe you have some really sturdy pole around your house or in your front yard or backyard. So if you have that, what you're gonna do is wrap it around this way. Bring your arms in, your hands are facing each other, and all you're gonna do is pull the band back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then release. So exhale, pull, squeeze, inhale, release. Come back, squeeze, and release. So this one is really easy to make harder or easier. You can stack a band or you just step further away to make it harder. If it's too hard, you just step in closer. So you're focusing on pulling back, squeeze, and then let it go. Okay, so that's a really good one for your back. Then what you can do is take those, switch your hands and flip around to do a chest press. So all you're gonna do for this one, hands facing towards the floor. You want your elbows a little bit higher than your forearms. And then you're gonna exhale and press the band straight forward so they come right in front of your chest. Inhale, right back. What you're watching on this is when you come back, you don't wanna let your elbows come way back past your shoulders. It's gonna put a lot of strain on the shoulders. So try and keep your elbows even with your shoulder right here. Exhale, press forward, inhale back. Okay, and then to make it harder, you can just step forward. Most stability is gonna be if you could do uh, one leg forward, kind of a staggered stance. Exhale, push forward, inhale, come back. Just like that. Again, you're probably gonna to wanna to do about 20 of those, but it all depends on the weight. So if you have a light band like this, you'll probably be able to do about 20. If you have a really heavy, thick band, you might be more like eight to 10. So it all depends on the band that you have. A variation of that is to do a chest fly. So your arms are mostly straight with a little bend in the elbow. You exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, come back to where your hands are just in front of your shoulders and repeat like that. So it's gonna work your chest in a little bit different way. Similarly, a little variation on the back row that I just showed you. Rather than hands in, turn your hands towards the ground so it's almost like a reverse of that chest press you just did. And then you're gonna hit the back in a slightly different way as well. Okay, so now we've got legs, chest, back. Now we're gonna, uh, and shoulders, show your shoulders too. Then what you can do is hit your arms. So you're gonna stand right on the middle of a band, just like uh, the squat, and work your biceps. So all you gotta do on this one is keep your elbows pinned in by your shoulders, come up, squeeze, and then let it back down. Exhale up, inhale down. Again, amount of reps are gonna depend on the type of band that you have and how thick it is. But that's super easy, you can do that anywhere. You don't need a door, you don't need a pole. You can do that anywhere. All right, so then triceps, the back of the arm. What you can do if you have a door is you're gonna put this, attach it way up high into the door. So you're gonna move it, like if you had it for your back, it's gonna be about mid door. You're gonna move it way up to the top of the door. If you don't have a door, you're just gonna wrap it around something sturdy. So we have like a pull-up bar that I'm gonna put it on. You can do that in the gym as well. Um, but anything you have that's attached up kind of high, 
You're just going to wrap your band around it. Like so. And then what you're going to do is bring your elbows in right by your side. Exhale as you push down. Squeeze right here and then inhale right back to that 90 degree position. Exhale, push down. Inhale, come up. Exhale down. Inhale up. The longer you hold it to, the more it's going to burn. Just really make sure you squeeze your triceps. So a variation on this, if you don't have a really high place where you can put this, another option is to wrap it around something again. And instead of pushing down, you're going to bend at the hips. So you're at about like a 45 degree angle with your upper body. You're going to pull your elbows in by your side, exhale and push back that way. So you're pushing back and down, but basically the same idea as when it's attached up high. You just have to bend over to achieve the same thing. Okay. One more exercise that you can do for your lower body would be lunges. So this you don't necessarily need a band. Lunges are so hard. <laughs> you typically don't need a band um, for a lunge, but you can. So you just step one leg back. Again, bring the, the, the handles right up by your shoulders. Lunge down so both, both legs are at 90 degrees. And stand up. So down, just barely tap the knee and back up. And then you just have to switch and do it on the other side, making sure your front knee is not shooting past your toe. That's the main thing you want to watch is that your knee is right over your toe. Then let's give you a core exercise that you can do as well. Now core, you don't really need a band because there's so many options like planks, crunches, side planks, V ups, like all kinds of things you can do for your core. But um, if you want to add a little resistance and target your core in a little bit more functional kind of way, what you're going to do is grab the um, handles, hold them together, and you want this wrapped where it's about shoulder height, straight out in front of you. So this is right in front of your chest. You're going to exhale, turn, kind of pivot your back foot as you turn. Keep your arms straight and bring it right across your body and then right back to center. So you exhale, you turn, rotate to the side, inhale back. Exhale, turn, inhale back. Okay, so that's going to target your obliques. It's going to um, really work on fighting resistance. You're having to resist that weight, which really helps to tone the core, build muscle and strength for daily rotational type of movements. Sorry for the sound, athletics. Um, so those are some great resistance band exercises that you can do um, in a hotel room, at home, at someone else's home, in the airport if you need to. Um, this is something you can just carry in your bag so you get stuck at the airport for an hour, bust out some shoulder presses and squats. Um, to try and get a little bit of a workout in. So hopefully that helps you out this holiday to have a few different ideas of things that you can do beyond just body weight exercises to do with the resistance band. Um, so again, you can get these ones at prosourcefit.com. 10% um, off code is holly10 at checkout um, or find them online or your local um, athletic store. Um, so hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comments. I'll reply to them. And if you need help with kind of figuring out a workout plan that you can do at home or traveling or just to kind of get you on a head start before January, now is the time to try and get into a routine. Um, if you need help with that, go ahead and contact me at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com or you can always just send me a message on this Facebook page and we can do a quick little um, consultation, talk about getting an assessment started and figuring out what the right program is for you and we'll talk pricing and all the details. I do very custom programs, so it's not always going to be the same for everyone. Um, but typically a six out six week workout program that would be online starts at about $180, but I also have nutrition available and uh, both together. So if you need help with your workouts, 
um, contact me and let me know. And uh, in the meantime, hopefully these exercises help you out. You can also find more resistance band workouts and exercises on my YouTube channel at Renewal Fitness Coaching. Um, so thanks so much for watching and please uh, share this with anyone else that might need some workout tips this holiday season. Thanks. Take care and have a great weekend.